come into my world, a world that's so unique, you would find it different, definitely unusual to how you've lived your life, and then get engulfed in a world of criminal justice, giving you authority and power because you have the authority and power of the district attorney's office and the district court state level and all in between imagine that world imagine if you were talked into that world imagine if you were given an opportunity to be in that world wouldn't it be different from what you're doing right now do you think that would be an unusual experience getting court orders detaining people using other agencies, state troopers, you know, OSBI, Bureau of Investigations, Office of Juvenile Affairs, District Courts, District Attorney's Office. Imagine that world. There are a lot of good, very smart people in that world. And I know a lot of them. But imagine when you get a court order giving you the authority, giving you power to detain someone, arrest somebody, Take them to jail or to prison or an institution. Imagine that world. How would that be? What kind of person would you be? What kind of person would you want to be when you're dealing with people? People of all races, economic status, it doesn't matter. They're people. You're dealing with the mind. But imagine those people that don't have good luck and really do some bad things. They can even hurt somebody, even kill somebody. When you're in that world, you're bound to experience some of that. That's the world. But what kind of person would you be? How will you treat people? Really, let me hear your comments. Let me hear your thoughts. Tell me how you would treat somebody if you were given authority to do a job. But you know how that job functions? It functions based on laws. L-A-W-S city, state, and federal you know, and the constitution it's all of that, it's doing the right thing it's being righteous in the sense of the law and your God our God when you do everything that's right according to the word of God your God, whatever your God is, because there are some gods out there that I know that Make me wonder sometimes we all pray to the same God just on the different names and formats how we do things. But there's some goodness in those. And obeying the law, all laws, and giving you their power to take someone from their custody. Imagine that. How would you deal with something like that when you actually get the order and you have the initiated? Would you do it? Would you take that order and arrest somebody? Think about that. You may go into their homes, you're going to their jobs, but you're going to arrest, detain. Imagine that. Then you got to approach that person. This is a serious moment. It could backfire. That person could challenge you. It could lead into a fight or struggle, even maybe death. Imagine that. So if you were in that environment, that world, what kind of person would you be? What kind of an officer would you be? What kind of deputy would you be? Sheriff, agent, trooper. What kind of person with the power of the law would you be? Think about that. That's very interesting when you really truly think about it. I've always felt do treat people how I want to be treated. That's how I looked at it. And that's how I did it. Didn't try to do it. I did it. And if you just do it, it'd be good for you too. But what kind of person would you be? Think about it.